Hey everybody, this is Fran Frischella, draft expert and basketball junkie. To everybody who's watching, let's get our friends at General Manager Games the subscribers they deserve. Just press that red subscriber button and immerse yourself in sports AI through GM Games content. And on Twitter, it's GM underscore games. Let's get after it. Let's go. All right, everyone, getting set up here. All right, putting the word out. This is a mid-afternoon stream, just because uh, I got free time from work right now. information here all right gonna put something out to Twitter gonna make sure everybody who's around midday is gonna get a chance to see this the uh, Wolverine Studios stream this is Pro Basketball 21, so it's a different game listed today for this. One last stop to the death. See what we can get. And uh, I'll get started in about one minute time. Okay. Now I'm sure most people are busy or whatever, so they can come back and watch this at a later point. But uh, we'll get going one more minute if people want to watch this live. We got one person, Jedi's here, that's enough for me. So it's, we'll, uh, people can watch this later on YouTube or on our website. So this is the uh, CBGM. Uh, sirens are not sound effects that I'm adding to uh, my podcast here or whatever. But anyways, uh, CBGM is the College Basketball General Manager. Uh, my name's Chris, I run the league. We have uh, 126 human teams. One of the cool things we do is if you have your seniors or top players, the one and dones, these guys, they don't disappear. So normally in the game, in CB21, DDS, which we use, they just have an email that says they were drafted. If you don't really know what happens, what's up with that universe and how well our guys play it. So we're almost like third or fourth season now doing draft picks. And from this point, we're now starting to build this universe in what we call the NBGM. So it's the NBA, uh, real teams, uh, past pros, and guys trying to uh, play with Luka Doncic and uh, Trey Young and all these other guys. So with that in mind, you may not know who these players are, but this is part of the cool factor. So the league link brings these players in, and uh, what I'll do is I'll get right to this magazine called, uh, this is the mock draft preview. So I'm gonna make sure we're on this mock draft tab. And uh, this is starting to show who they think will be taken at certain spots. And then we're gonna do this live draft with the computer AI, and it's gonna be pretty cool. And we're gonna see where all our guys go. So, uh, let me just say, say hi to the chat. Feel free to chat in the room, ask questions or whatever. If someone's just joining in, uh, I'll answer some questions as well. So. Uh, Steve Robertson, this guy was a, a pretty crazy story. He had a very low 
SAT score. He was able to go to a really tiny school and take them all the way to the Sweet 16. So he also broke the scoring record in the uh, uh, CBGM because he was just tearing apart uh, a small conference day, night in, night out, and won that conference tournament, so those points add up. Um, on this mock draft, you got Nick Tui, who's a sophomore. He was supposed to go pro. Uh, he was a, a sixth overall recruit, but he stuck around. Kieran Eli, I'm not too familiar with, but from Kentucky, they usually have a lot of great players that come out of there. Sean Borman was a Baylor top 15 prospect one and done player projected to go to the Pistons and then Barry Barrett who is the uh, number one overall player in this league he's uh, projected to go into the top five so we have Johnny Holloway there's a few other good players that are not considered here just yet but uh, these are the types of guys so a point guard though Borman is joined by Ashley Tickert from Maryland that's Coffee's team Starzy Ferguson that's Villanova and Brocky uh, and some shout outs to people in the league. Travis Hester is uh, Super Cali. And uh, Old Dominion Jeff Smith is another uh, Baylor owned team. So that's the mock drafts for point guards. Shooting guards, Ivan Tatum uh, got hurt t- before the tournament, was a stud, wasn't able to, to continue. Um, and he's projected to be the top shooting guard. Joined by West Virginia's Jeff Moore. Iowa's Anthony Singletary, Donald Jarrett, who might be the better player on Texas, and Kenny Lynch, big time scorer, senior, almost uh, was on pace to break the scoring record and kind of fizzled off towards the end of the year. At small forward, again, P. Vamu, P. Vamu, <laughs> Prairie View, is uh, Steve Robertson at the, he's actually more of a shooting guard by size, but he's a small forward listed here. Joins uh, Anthony Harris and Collie calling Whitting from Tennessee, and we talked about Tui and Eli earlier. Power forwards, that's Barry Barrett's spot. Vershaw from Ohio State. Robert Samuel, though, is potentially the best player, uh, and it's weird that he's not projected in the top five, but I'm sure some team might pick him up. And last but not least, we're dealing with the center position, and Johnny Holloway is a talent. This uh, Russian guy, uh, Sasa Rukavina, is terrible. Uh, Garrett Berry's good. Interesting that even the backup center at, at uh, Kentucky has a lot of uh, draft potential at the center spot. So they draft a lot, they recruit a lot of centers there and do quite well with that. So, with that in mind, we're going to get into the uh, college draft now, and uh, we're going to advance and watch the montage and uh, go from there. So. So I get the the cheesy music on my end, but it's, you know, it's nice. It sets the mood. And they list out some names. Who's it gonna be? 30 teams. This is draft night. Future begins now in the NBGM. So we got Scott Vershaw as a pump out there. Gavin O'Kelly, another big name. Wasn't in the magazine. Garrett Berry. Kevin Price is a big-time senior and a champion. Uh, Also was a National Player of the Year and scored tons of points in his career. Steven Towns is another senior power forward. So this is going to be an interesting uh, draft. There's quite a bit of talent here, actually, if they were all in the CBGM again next year. But there's Stevie Robertson, one of my boys. Johnny Holloway. And their time is now. The draft is now. So this is the time I can do this. Sixers are on the clock. Mavs, Raptors. Pretty sure the Raptors dealt their pick, so I'm not sure why that's there. But All right. So who's going to join our other players from CBGM? And that's the Wolverine Studios draft montage. So I think I can pretty much just get this going. And here we are. So that's uh, like Woj Bomb on the right. These guys talk a lot of trash about picks and the GMs and whatnot, but uh, I don't, I'm not familiar with which teams have what order. So that's kind of a surprise. We're mostly looking out to see where our players get taken and where uh, our owners can follow along in the future. 
All right, so Pels are on the clock. I'll usually give it about a minute, two minutes, but since it's uh, just starting the draft, just want to show the presentation here again. So Pels have that top pick to join Zion Williamson. And uh, th that team needs a little bit more to them. I don't know, maybe Zion's not there. He's not in the current lineup right now. Ingram's still there. So at the bottom, it's showing us our order as well. So the Raptors pick was traded, but they showed the logo. So Steve Robertson, that's a, a big small forward name available. What was just talking about Johnny Holloway over here? So with that in mind, we're gonna get to the top pick in the draft. And uh, top pick coming up, go into the chat room. Who's it gonna be? So next human pick is the wrong thing to do. I think it's, they're all CPU, so I go CPU pick. And it is Saru Kavina. Wow, center and need. This um, is is very sad. It's a sad draft pick. So Sasa Rukavina is someone, I, I can't believe that was the first pick. But anyways, there's, there's potential there. Uh, he was a five-star recruit with, uh, was it? Maryland, but went pro. I think he was even redshirted. So, surprise, surprise, they saw something we didn't, perhaps. But um, who knows? Maybe the potential is super sky high that we didn't see in, in the pot rating. Okay. <laughs> yeah. High potential, but you could be waiting till what? You're, you're what? 10? What's up with that? All right. Mavs up. Luca wasn't able to get to the playoffs last year. Uh, first year, he wasn't the MVP. Uh, he needs help. That team needs help. Cooper looks like someone that was from CBGM in their lineup. So with that in mind, who's going to join Luka Doncic to give him some help in Dallas? It's Barry Barrett. So it's all potential rating. It's all flash, all talent. Uh, these guys still are being loved by scouts, by GMs. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Is he going to be helpful for Luca? I don't know, but the Sixers are now on the clock. There's tons of better players out there, I'm sure. And uh, what do we got? We got Robert Samuel. We got Johnny Holloway. We're, we're thinking those guys will probably be some of the better players. Uh, and let's see who's up next. That's Nick Tui time. So this guy is good, and you can see his stats below at Oklahoma. 17 points a game. I, was, I thought there was a mistake for a sec, because when I looked at Rukavina, it said 0, 0, 0, 0, So I thought it was like, ah, oh, the draft file is like, got to be screwed up or something. But he was red-shirted, so he doesn't have any stats. So I don't know if that means Coffee should have let, let that guy loose, seen what would have happened. But um, apparently that dude is, uh, is liked by the Pels GM. So two egos, Detroit's up. Let's take a look at what Detroit's lineup is like below. They should flash the uh, starting lineup. They were 27 and 55, that's pretty bad. They, that's exactly why they have a pick like that. All right, we got Nun, Fournier, Porter, and uh, Brown, I think that's Khalid Brown. So that's a, no, that's a different Brown. It might be Dave Brown. But there's a few good guys. They're saying Kevin Price is out there. Robertson's out there. So where will the number four pick be? It will be, oh, we got a trade. So we'll see what's behind it. Marketing though goes to the next for Rozier. And Ivan Tatum, a guy who did not get a chance to show his might against, uh, unfortunately, Texas Tech, they ran into the champions. But um, North Carolina and Tatum, Tatum's stock's still high. He goes to the Pistons, and uh, we'll see what he does for them in the future. All right, so we got the Rockets on the clock. Uh, Wiz Thunder Knicks up after that. Let's take a look at what the Rockets lineup is like. They're still saying best players available. Robertson, uh, Price, 
power forward. That's a G League guy, Jeff Smith, G League Ignite, Holloway to center. Surprise Samuel is not that big. Rockets were terrible. It looks like they should have had the top pick. 19 wins total. So they also have a 19th pick as well in the first round here. So, Okay, so JV, Brian Felix, Sinville, and the lineup is up in the air. So it looks like free agency is going to be pretty crazy if the teams are uh, falling apart and lots of room for CBGM guys to come in and, and play a part. So Precious Achua uh, goes for Felix and the first. So this is a move right now. The Knicks moving into the top spot. And the Rockets have taken Stevie Robertson from P. Vamu. Uh, Prairie View, my, one of the uh, great stories. He had 30 a game. If you look at the bottom, so he's found a home. I believe that pick may have been traded. It did seem like Felix came in, or maybe that's for the uh, other pick. So uh, hard to stream and keep track of everything that's happening at the same time, but we'll see how that plays out. But Brian Felix from Duke, one of our uh, original year guys, is on the move, packaged up with the first with Knicks. So, yeah. Robertson goes early. There's no way he was going to stick around at Prairie View. He was just there for, uh, as a, you know, a guest passenger just for a little. All right, next pick, Wizz are up. Uh, team looks bad. I think we just saw that below a little bit. I got my uh, menu in the way there, so that needs to fall off. Let me get that out of the way. There we go. Okay. Next up. For the Wiz. Vershaw, Ohio State. So, surprisingly, this guy is getting a lot of uh, love. Don't recall when he was uh, recruited. So, I don't know if he's a... What year he's coming in as. If he left as a senior or one and done or whatever. Um, yeah. No, well, yeah, the, I don't know if the Knicks traded for him. They had that on there when I started hollering it out. So, we'll see. Okay, Peyton Gilgis Alexander is what uh, the Thunder have. And then I guess because they have a lot of RFAs um, looking to re-sign players, they, the lineup is still uncertain about who gets taken next. So let's take a look with this pick. Jeff Smith, G League Ignite, someone we know nothing about. But the G League has produced uh, one of the, the best young players in the NBGM named uh, BJ Anderson on the Magic. Uh, he won a ring, actually, in his uh, rookie year for them. But it's now the era of the Atlanta Hawks. All right, so now, actually, this is it here. So, look, Brian Felix was moved to get this Knicks pick. So it shows Rockets, even though it shows Knicks at the top there. So the Rockets are adding the Stevie Robertson uh, with whatever they take here. They did not choose to keep the Brian Felix Duke talent and he's been moved out for this pick and coming up who's going to be the move Robert Samuel I'm pretty sure that was a pretty smart trade to move up into the draft so Samuel and Robertson are going to be on the same team both top five CBGM recruits out of well, that season, whatever we, that's the 2023 season. Those two guys are uh, starting up their own team in Houston. All right. The Clippers um, had a pretty good run. They took out the Suns, but then they had to run into um, a bit of a wall. And the other finalist, uh, the Grizz, the Grizz. Yeah. So Clippers could use some help. Kawhi is still doing his thing. He's getting older now. I think he's probably around 33. Uh, Holloway would help. Uh, they were in the conference finals, as you see down here. It's it's talking about. So they have the ninth and the 21st pick in the first round. All right. So with that in mind, we got oh George and Leonard are still on the team, and Serge Ibaka. So they need a point guard, though. That's kind of the constant uh, Clippers issue, isn't it? And Anthony Singletary from Iowa. So if English uh, 004 was here in the chat, he as his team from Iowa has just produced a top 10 pick 
the Clippers like enough about that guy from Iowa to take him. Uh, I guess maybe he will play that point position for them. So that's another Big Ten player. If that's uh, there's some chat going on about conferences here, so Big Ten gets another pick on the board. So the Celtics are an interesting story. The Celtics have one of the best CBGM players that have developed in the NBGM. Uh, Khalid Jones from Kentucky, another big, uh, has actually started really stepping up. He was the rookie of the year. He also is, is contributing. So we're starting to see some of our draft picks uh, get unleashed on the league. So who are they going to take? They already have the center. So here we go. Brown Tatum Jones. Khalid Jones is that one. And with this pick, Daryl Jarrett. So that is the best player probably from Texas. He was dangerous. He could play. Big 12 gets a draft pick here. He had 23.3 a game. So Barry Barrett was not the, you know, the guy that most teams had to stop. Daryl Jarrett was that guy. All right, so we got the Blazers next. Lillard's still on the team. McCollum's on the team. Norm Powell and Nurkic. Uh, who's left? Borman. Kevin Price. Imagine going from Oregon, staying in Oregon. That would be a, a great draft day sports story if that comes true. So who's it going to be? Oh, we got to trade D-Rose on the move. Little uh, older players moving around. Ben Kesper, South Carolina. I don't know. This is off the board. Definitely off the board. Here's a guy that uh, he only had six a game, but he was an AI run team. So no human pick there, but the uh, Trailblazers are risking it with uh, Kesper. Maybe they saw something in some workouts. Uh, don't know that much about the guy. All right, so this is a team led by Brogdon. I didn't see if Sabonis is still on the team, but... Um, Definitely, I saw Brogdon's name there on the, on the starting lineup. I'm sure they could use a Holloway. So with the 12th pick, the Pacers are going to select Ben Dodd. Keeping it local. The Hoosiers and, this, and Indiana keeps the local boy. And I don't know if the game's doing this in any way. But probably not. But a forward out of Indiana is going to be the draft pick for the Indiana Pacers and uh, maybe they watched a lot of games with them in the, in the region but uh, Indiana player is going to the Indiana Pacers alright Wolves are up they're just kind of mediocre haven't really done much they, they seem to have had talent at some point but uh, can they make a step forward there's still good players a lot of good players left in the draft were surprisingly not taken before with these guys so Workouts and camps and potential rating must be doing a huge uh, you know, influence on these AI coaches. Melvin Young, Georgetown. So last year we saw um, a couple guys from Georgetown go. Sherman Grundy, uh, I forget the other guy's name, is like Ivy something, but you know, you know Mosley or something, other guy's name, Gosley or something. But they were a couple of, uh, I think they both went first. Round, but now this is another Georgetown player. Uh, talent coming out of that Big East, and we're seeing that player come from Super Cali and his team. So Van's here just to get a peek to see if any USC <laughs> Trojans are gonna go. But uh, right now we got the Lakers. So are there Lake Show fans in the chat or whoever's cheering for the league? Uh, I know Jedi is a Bulls fan. I'm a Raps fan. So Raptors traded their pick. Terrible deal. Uh, I think it was for like Steven Adams or something has added height when they uh, had some players. So it's just terrible, terrible pick. Although they do have Dan McRae from last year. Okay, so Schroeder stayed. LeBron may be retired now. So he was not listed, I don't think, in that. I may have missed it. But uh, this is the new Lakers. So who are they going to take? Kirion Eli. So Kentucky player, there's always the chance for potential there. A lot of information here about his strengths. I can't read all that. That's just nuts. Uh, anticipates passes. All right. Phenomenal stamina. All right. Okay, so the heater up. We're into the uh, mid-20s. 
mid round of the the first round. Out of Bay, it was like pretty much the only guy left on the team. So when the teams are that empty, just keep in mind they could be RFAs. Uh, it could be a massive transition of guys are getting old, but that's uh, that's what's going on here. So all right, next pick, Johnny Holloway is going to start his career in Miami in South Beach and uh, has come to the hot sun. And I don't know who else he's going to have on his team, really. Not too much. We'll have to follow these guys through the season as it goes on. But it's going to be more uh, you know, special to see our names from CBGM. And that's the whole idea is to get this filling up with our own guys versus uh, everyone else. Okay, so Ornus, they got... Uh, they got LaMelo Ball still. Uh, they could use some help. They need to make the next leap. Can they get out of the East? I think they may have made the playoffs last year, but I, maybe not. Garrett Berry's left. This is what they're saying is going on. And the next pick is Garrett Berry. So Michigan's uh, top recruit has now gone in the mid-first round. They went with height. Hornets needed uh, some height. It's uh, not not big height though. Probably more of a power forward. They're six eight two thirty three. Bulls are up. So Jedi, Jedi's at his draft party. He's uh, wanting to get it going here. Who are the Bulls going to take? Jedi, do you want to make a prediction? Do they want Kevin Price? I think a lot of the. Um, pedigree players are starting to wind down. Steven Towns is a nice player. Bulls, go get someone. Yeah, go go team. Go Chicago team. Okay, Price. Price is the prediction. Uh, Jones Jr. and Kankar, Williams, Okongwu, Vucic is their lineup. Borman's out there. The Bulls pick... Jeff Moore out of West Virginia. So it might have been a top 25 five-star player. Forget, or he may have just been on the outside. But uh, the Bulls will take uh, West Virginia year after Huggins. Huggins retired. He's our logo. If you're anyone wondering at the bottom left-hand corner of the ticker, who's that guy yelling? CBGM logo. That's Bobby Huggins. He retired. Uh... And he was replaced by Chris Beard. So, facts. If you did not know that. All right, Spurs are up. Let's see what their lineup is. Team's so old sometimes. Don't know who's running with them. So, DeMar DeRozan has even left. Uh, well, here he left real life. 43-39. Who are the new Spurs? Grundy, I thought he was taken by this team and then traded. So, who knows what's going on. All right, next pick. Colin Whitting from Tennessee. So this guy leaves for uh, Agu, but, or Agu, sorry. And he replaced these guys with a lot of talent in Tennessee. He got probably a top five recruiting class or something. So Tennessee's pretty dirty in the game right now. All right, so we're back to the Rockets pick. So they traded uh, for the Knicks pick, got Samuel, drafted Robertson, they have Gosley on their team. They have Valanchunas. Now, who are they going to add to the mix? Here's another co competitive player. This GM doesn't seem as dumb as the other ones. So here we go. Kevin Price. The Rockets are cleaning up. There's going to be a competition for time, though, here. So we got Kevin Price with Steve Robertson and Robert Samuel. This is Team CBGM right here, and it's the team of this recruiting class this year. So those diaper dandies, well, Price is not, but the other two plus that guy, that's their draft class. The Rockets are rolling with those three guys. All right, the Magic, who are just good enough as it is. I'll show you th their lineup really quickly, but uh, they're challenging to go to the finals almost every year. Coffee, you should have seen Sasa Rukavina went top pick in the draft. <laughs> Maybe you should have played him instead of uh, 
you know, red shirt, you never know what would happen. Pretty sure he's garbage, though. Yeah. Look at the bottom, though, on the ticker. You're going to see uh, his name probably pop back and forth. All right. Magic up. Nick Lopez, G League Ignite. So, we don't know much about these guys. Uh, I don't, I'm not able to show a lot about their recruiting uh, projections, but G League Ignite gets about two, three first round picks a year. So, they're competing with our pool of uh, CBGM players. All right, next up, clip. More help for Kawhi, more help for Paul George. Still on the team. They drafted Singletary from Iowa for guard help. Now, who do they go to? They need Eric Simpson from Virginia. I think he might have been a Canadian guy too, this recruit. But um, a one-and-done player. Didn't play much, so stats are awful on the bottom. But uh, pedigrees there. Going to come in and see what he's up to. All right, heat up again. He had Holloway, Holiday, Holloway, whatever, on the last pick. So to add to that star center, who are they going to take? Steve Cage, Arkansas. So the, the intrigue here around these picks is that this is now the chance for some of those small schools to see a player come in or, or whomever. They could get drafted. Like, I'm, I'm kind of hoping Al Floyd goes somewhere. Unfortunately, he's the 109 rank uh, overall in this game when I saw it. Um, in the email, it looked like he was, like, projected maybe second round or something. So, not a lot of love for the guy, though. Okay, Warriors are up. Who's left now on this team? You got Gavin O'Kelly still left. Harris from Butler is still out there. So, Coffee could watch maybe his guy get taken. Towns is a good power forward, but he was a senior. They seem to... Little Rock, Laval Hunter is the next best center available. Claims. Claims on the bottom. So Warriors are good, 49-33. Let's just see if they show their starting lineup for a sec. And yeah, they still got Curry, Clay, Wiseman's a big pick from that year. So let's go. Let's see what's up. Borman goes. So they're looking to get the future... Uh, behind Clay and and Curry, and they're going to go Sean, Sean Borman Baylor to try to do that for themselves in the future. Yeah, Pels, that's it's that's an awful uh, move. Top pick. That's what they did with it. All right, Rockets up again. So I'm almost scared that the Rockets are going to take every best player that's available. Um, who else is great? Oh, Kelly, if they take him, they just basically just cleaned up the whole draft. So let's see who they take. Rick Ricks. No effing clue. G League Ignite. There's your third one of the first round or so. And uh, he is off the board that uh, we didn't really care about. So let's get to the next pick. All right, we got the Grizz up and the Grizz went to the finals. Grizz could use this player to help push them over the top. So, line up there, I don't know, it says Melton, but I'm pretty sure they still have Moran. Uh, unless he's a free agent, and we're going to see where these players go. Hakeem Olajuwon, it says. The scent, oh, they're talking about Hakeem Olajuwon being the, uh, the Rockets GM right there. Right. Okay, let's see what's up with the Grizz. Laval Hunter, Little Rock. So, there is a question just today. Has there been a draft pick from the Sun Belt? I'm pretty sure there was one from Coastal Carolina, but now we have one from Little Rock, Hegon. So it blinks in the chat. Laval Hunter has gone in the first round. Center, Little Rock. So Van's still kind of hoping for his USC guys. Hawks, though, they're the champs. So whoever's going to move into this situation is going to walk into already a strong team. They have Levine, though. They have DeMar DeRozan. They have Trey Young. It was enough to win the championship with John Collins. So 53 and 29. Trey Young is just right now pushing to break some scoring records in the league. Uh, so we'll see what they do to add to their team. Anthony Harris joins the champs. So Butler 
Coffee gets his guy on a team that might have a, a lot of playoff spotlight. And uh, maybe he'll crack that lineup one day, especially with uh, DeRozan getting older. Levine, uh, still pretty young, but DeRozan is getting older. So, All right, here's those. Uh, here's that smart GM from the top pick who was in love with uh, Sasa Rukavina. The Pels, this should be good for comedy. Who are they taking now? They have to redeem themselves. Probably better than the first pick. Oh, it's Neek as well. All right, quick trade. Burke, second rounder. Hawks, Gordon Tucker, who cares? Marcus O'Brien from Wisconsin. Not too familiar with him. But Blazer Taz, if he watches this at some point, he'll see his guy went in the uh, late first round. So we're going to move a little bit faster here as we get to the end of the first, but we're just not there yet. So let's go over the next pick in the first round. Suns still have Booker, still have Aiton. Paul looks like he retired. So who's going to join that cast? We got Joseph Bannon, who left Purdue. He left early, and he went to the draft, and he's taken by a great team. So it kind of works out in the end for Joseph Bannon. Didn't work out great for the Spider, but uh, he left Purdue. And ironically, the Purdue logo is there. So whatever the Little Rock logo was, they just put the American play. That was kind of a little weird. They don't, Sun Belt team's not in there or something. But. All right, Magic.
Cavs up next. Sexton, Lavert, Smith, Jared Allen is their team. Sexton's quite good in this game. Jerome Morris, Syracuse. So Acus is reloaded this year, but this is a Brendan pick. Uh, Brendan being the owner of Syracuse. Manager of Syracuse, I should say. And they are with the pick. All right, Trailblazers up next. And they're going to take Brad Izzo. Brad Izzo is, a, you know, a lot of respect for this guy. So Iowa State at one point almost won a, a title in the first year. Should have got to the finals. I think they lost in the final four. Izzo was around all along the way. So when Keaton Williams was around, he's a famous CBGM name. Um, Izzo was on the contributing cast of that team. So Iowa State had another strong season and it really was uh, him being that kind of glue. But, you know, we'll see what Iowa State does now after he's gone. All right, Jazz up next. Winston Brown, Washington. So this is Shucker getting a draft pick. I've done so many um, export rounds and seeing who whose teams are what that uh, pretty good memory about who owns what teams now. All right, Mavs up. Need help for Doncic. Missed the playoffs last year. Uh, Larry Allen, Tennessee was the last pick. They go Kansas. Well, oh, Andre Emanuel, this is an interesting trade. This guy was the first year, uh, I believe, Xavier's um, MVP that year. So I'd rather talk about Andre e. Samuel. If we talk about his history, he's on the uh, the Legends page, our Hall of Champions, with, a, I believe, a championship night. If that's not him, then uh, I'm way off. But I do believe that he was the guy from... Uh, Xavier, no, Xavier didn't win that game. That might have been Memphis. Might have been Memphis. Played for Memphis and he won it all. Yeah. Okay. T-Wolves. Eddie Harrington, UCLA. So sad. They were sad to see him go. UCLA totally reloaded this year, though. So no big deal. They locked up a lot of talent in the West last year. Okay, next up for the Lakers, we got Malik Gilbert, that other center. He was projected as like a top five center or something. So we're chugging along. I don't think uh, Kenny Payne might not have been taken yet. Well, let's see who else is left that we kind of know who they are. So Al Floyd, my guy from Creighton, he definitely hasn't been selected yet. Uh, I'm not sure he will. But probably will end up in the G League. See if he can get out of the doldrums and uh, go to a good team. So Heat with the uh, Holloway holiday pick. So we got Ferguson down here. I want to, yeah, Kenny Lynch. Sorry, not Kenny Payne. Kenny Lynch is still out there. It's very surprising. I guess is is uh, from Houston. Doesn't translate pro that well to uh, to scouts. Deverage DePaul. He's a, a block. East. Ashley Kicker. So there you go. Coffee gets his guy. Uh, Kicker was on the point guard uh, I think list of uh, top ones. He had to replace Mark Linney, which is no easy task. But he's back in the league. So uh, Maryland point guards doing all right. All right, Jazz up. And Jazz are going to go Jimmy Romano. No, no effing clue who these guys are. But 11 a game. So Stanford also had a bunch of transfers. So if he got, he left the team, I think they had three or four transfers. I don't know who's left on Stanford. That team is depleted. Uh, Prairie View took two of their players on their, their guards. They're going to run their lineup. Okay. Bucks. Good year last year. Haven't won the title though in this game. Good players. Giannis and Middleton and all them still there. Who are they going to add? Demario Thompson, another Notre Dame player. And we got probably about another, I don't know, 
12 to 15 picks left in this draft. Uh, okay, so that guy's done. Bucks take their guy. Not a bad second rounder. We'll see how it pans out. Hey, Breeze, what's up? We're doing our draft. We're into the end of it. Uh, these guys are, are kind of the bottom feeder players. All right, Spurs. Lineup's terrible. Drummond with D. Murray. Kenny Lynch. Well, that, that seems like a good home for the Spurs needing a guard that can really shoot and can play. So this is a really interesting second round pick. The, the Spurs look like they, they have a lot of space in the lineup to allow this guy to come out, play, start, and just, just fire away. So that might be a, a pretty good storyline in the end, in the NBGM. All right, Nets up. They're getting old. They're not really getting towards the Eastern Finals any longer. They're, they haven't got to the Finals in a long time. Uh, I'm just going to take a look at that starting lineup to see their contract situation one more time. Who are the integral pieces that are still there? That's a bad record. Only four games over 500 for a team that has quite a bit of talent on it. Oh, look at this. He helps local shelters, Kenny Lynch. Communities. Wants to start a charity. That's cool. We were just talking about uh, Kenny Lynch's uh, contributions here. Okay. Gary Taylor, Ole Miss, Mississippi gets a pick. Another computer team not run, just like South Carolina. Um, actually, you know what? I'm not, maybe there is someone for Ole Miss now. I don't want to be 100% sure on that. Okay. So, next pick, Knicks. We're into the, uh, the last range of players, seeing if uh, everyone's going to get their picks taken or not. And we got Keith Petty, Utah. So Utah is getting a few players in this draft. Baylor got picks. Old Dominion even had a pick. So Lloyd, Boston's got a ton of guys going into the league. Uh, guys that are looking like they'll be in contract situations and not just having to be two-way players to make the G League and make their way up. So the Atlanta Hawks... They chose uh, Brunson in the 2022 draft in the second round, they were saying here. So that team's deep. They're the champs. They're going to add Jordan Tarver of Purdue. So Spider's still in the chat. Purdue gets another guy. And he's going to join the champions. Hawks, I think they took like, is it O'Kelly or someone good? No, no, no. Yeah, I don't know. My memory's fading now anyway. Yeah, Spider just saw his guy go. All right, Nug up, Nug take. Brett Harper, Oklahoma. So Oklahoma now, uh, that's their second draft pick. After Tui, Nick Tui goes third overall in the entire draft. So he had 13 a game at Oklahoma. Next up, Warriors, what are we taking? Jason Scales. So Georgetown again. Seemed to be a feeder for the league. Uh, another player taken. And it just kind of shows how much talent some of these teams in the Big East had um, to be that good. What do we got next? Bucks 54. And we got Wade Scott, Charleston. College of Charleston. Kind of looking like a a bit of a project camp player played well in camps probably 0.4 points per game all right all right next up we got chris hill texas a&m graham gets a draft pick to go with uh, his oregon kevin price pick from earlier grizzlies the the runner up the runners up just grab this guy. See who's up next. So we can go Lakers up next. And the Lakers take Mike Wallace, G League Ignite. So no CBGM there. We're running out of the draft picks for players to get taken and get contracts. So Al Floyd, Crichton, one of my uh, one of my guys I had a lot of respect for that kind of shot my way into the, uh, the finals with. He's not taken. All right, we got Knicks. Knicks up again. 
Brian Jefferson, Jefferson, excuse me, G League Ignite. So seems like they'd rather take a risk on the uh, Ignite players than on the CBGM guys. But we still have a few picks to go, so we'll see what happens. Three picks left. Sixers go. Vanderbilt, Vandy Van, Tony Brown. Glad I changed the name file because everyone last name, their last names were Brown all like all the time. <laughs> so we have some variety now. And Magic and Jazz left. If they get a good player, they're just adding to a really great team here. Duke. Jason Crawford. No idea about this guy. 14 a game. Uh, ACC teams might be able to tell me a bit more about him in this chat. But I have no clue. But um, those stats are pretty good for the ACC. So second round, Crawford goes to the Magic. And the last pick, the Jazz. They got Will Childs from Rutgers. So Rutgers, Van, if you stayed all the way to the end for that one, he's not Mr. Irrelevant. He's the last pick of the second round and will have a contract potentially to stick around with the Jazz. So now your life is, is you, can, you can die and live happy at the same time. So if you missed it, I'll let you know in the chat. But anyways, thanks guys for uh, coming around. I'm going to end that draft. I had to get this stuff uh, out of the way because we're kind of getting into our recruiting now and uh, this league needs to move forward. So yeah, thanks everybody. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and enjoy uh, CBGM or MBGM and uh, check out our league, our website. I'm going to post it into the chat. So if you're on YouTube and you see this, you go to that website, okay? And then under League Office, you're going to see teams available. You need this game, though, and you need some experience playing it. And then we'll uh, get you on board. All right. So good luck, everybody. And I uh, hope you enjoy and have a great weekend. It's a Friday. Thanks. Good night.